Once upon a time, in a land far away, there existed a young and curious language enthusiast named Amelia. Amelia had an insatiable thirst for knowledge and was determined to master the English language. Armed with her trusty dictionary and a magical book, she embarked on an enchanting odyssey through the world of words. Amelia's first adventure took her to the heart of the Amazon rainforest, where she encountered a friendly tribe of indigenous people. Their language was mysterious and captivating. Eager to communicate, Amelia immersed herself in their culture, learning their customs, dances, and traditional stories. With each interaction, her English vocabulary expanded and she gained a deeper understanding of different cultures. Among the tribe, Amelia met the wise elder, Kupuna, who was the guardian of their ancient stories. Kupuna taught her to express emotions through storytelling, weaving words like vines in a jungle, creating vivid mental images. Under the guidance of Kupuna, Amelia's English evolved into a poetic tapestry of language. One sunny afternoon, as Amelia sat with Kupuna under the shade of towering trees, a young boy named Francois approached them. He had a curious sparkle in his eyes and a shy smile on his face. With Kupuna's encouragement, Francois bravely expressed himself in accented English, saying, Amelia, you teach me talk like you amelia was moved by his sincerity and replied bien sir francois i would be honored to help you improve your english let's learn together from that day on amelia and francois became inseparable language partners they practiced speaking and reading laughing through their mistakes and celebrating their progress the entire tribe noticed the transformation in Francois, and they admired Amelia for her patience and dedication. Next, Amelia found herself in the bustling city of London. Mesmerized by the iconic landmarks and the rich history, she attended captivating plays at the Globe Theatre and visited museums brimming with fascinating artifacts. Along the way, she made friends with fellow language enthusiasts from various corners of the globe, each with their own unique English accents and expressions. Among her new friends, there was Layla, a vivacious Brazilian girl with a passion for dance, and Antoine, a charming Frenchman with a love for literature. The trio formed a close-knit group, exploring London's hidden treasures, sharing stories from their homelands, and engaging in spirited debates about art and culture. As their friendship blossomed, they formed a language club called the Globetrotting Wordsmiths. Together, they organized language games, poetry readings, and even staged a Shakespearean play with Antoine's flair for drama. Their camaraderie deepened their language skills, and their joyous escapades added a unique charm to their English learning journey. In her quest to master advanced English, Amelia's next destination was a quaint Irish village. Here, she was welcomed by the warmth and hospitality of the locals. She listened to old folklore tales and legends where magical creatures like leprechauns and fairies roamed the land. Among the villagers, Amelia met Sean, a charismatic Irishman with a gift for storytelling, and Colette, a friendly Irish lass with a penchant for singing. They regaled her with epic sagas of heroes and mythical beasts, inspiring Amelia to create her own fantastical tales. Colette and Amelia spend evenings singing ballads together, the harmonies of their voices creating a beautiful symphony of languages. In the spirit of the Emerald Isle, Amelia enjoyed traditional Irish music and dance, all the while mastering the intricacies of the language with the help of her newfound friends. Together, they danced under the starlit sky, the fireflies keeping rhythm with their enchanting moves. As Amelia's journey neared its conclusion, she reflected on her marvelous experiences. She realized that learning a language was more than just memorizing grammar and vocabulary. 
It was about embracing different cultures, forging connections with people from diverse backgrounds, and opening her heart to the beauty of storytelling. Armed with her newfound knowledge and profound understanding of the English language, Amelia returned to her home, where she established a language school. Students from all over the world flocked to her institution, eager to embark on their own language odysseys. With the help of Francois, Leila, Antoine, Sean, Colette, Nana Ruby, and Kupuna, Amelia's language school flourished into a melting pot of cultures and languages. The globe-trotting wordsmiths reunited, now joined by their students from different corners of the globe, and together they embarked on new adventures, sharing stories, laughter, and a love for the English language. And so, the legacy of Amelia's enchanted odyssey lived on, as she inspired countless others to learn English and explore the world through the magic of stories. The End